Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dylan James Beats The Wolf Among Us where we last left off. Oh geez, it's been so dang long since I've played this game. So dang long since I've posted an episode. I'm terribly sorry guys. Life has been in the dang way. But I'm excited to play this game without a face cam, sorry, but uh, you guys know how it is. The rest of my games for a little bit are going to be without a face cam. I apologize if you do want face cam back, let me know. But for now, and for a little bit longer, it'll be no face cam. If you want to see my face, look at my vlogs and stuff. Anyways, where we last left off, we were scrounging around Holly's uh, bar and where she was staying, looking for some information on Lily and uh, where she got her glamour from. We found a book or something with all these addresses, and one of them has to be the witch, so we're hoping that's the case. And right now, we are on our way to Ichabod Crane's apartment to search those grounds and check on what Bluebeard and Buffkin are up to because they are supposed to be there too. And we're trying to find the witch in a certain allotted time. Time is ticking away. So that's what we are doing now. So here we go. I wonder what's gonna happen. Ichabod Crane's apartment, the Woodland Building, 102 AM. That's in the morning. 58 minutes left. Time be ticking away. There's Buffkin. Where's Bluebeard? Bluebeard burned everything. Oh my god. Bluebeard, you mother. Dang it. The evidence. I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. Buffkin is. He wouldn't on. listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all the crane's stuff? Who knows? Buffkin did it. <laughs> Examine the book. What's in the book? I don't know. It's freaking burned to a crisp. Ugh. What's this? A toilet? Burned clock. Oh, look. A burned clock. Something has to have something. If there was something here I could use to find him, there isn't now. Waste of fucking time. Oh, dang. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Yes. Just this. I don't know which one she is, but it's a start. Maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Good luck. Buffkin is sketching me out. I don't feel, I don't, I'm not feeling Buffkin anymore. I'm not a big fan of the buff. So, that's where my head's at. How much time is left? Lag. <clears throat> is he wearing a frog? Excuse answer? me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. Who are you? Why do you have I a frog hat? I don't know at? if you remember me. I have a... Uh, Seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Rude. Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or Dumb? They, they aren't, they're in here right now. I'm not sure when they'll be back. I was hoping to have a talk with D or Dumb. Do you know where they are? No, they don't really keep regular hours as far as I can tell. Sorry. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Why don't you take the night off? That's nice of you, but I, I can't. I still have to clean their office. Perfect. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Excellent. Give us all the information now. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. Just don't I'm do sure anything it's bad fine. then. I don't. Oh my God, this is bad. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, all right? Right. It'll be fine. All right, let's go scrounging. Yes, this is my favorite part. Examine the inbox. 
Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? Obviously, it's about you, they werewolf. Have their quirks. <sighs> There's a code. Find the code book. Something about dogs. Don't touch the lollipops. We want one. I want a. What? And we're just gonna listen to Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I want a lollipop. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. Couple of freaks. What the heck? <sighs> this is pointless. What? I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? Or who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Interesting. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Huh. So, yeah, they're helping people by giving them drug jobs, I guess. You know about this? Uh, no. We got the key. What else can we scrounge around in? What's this? This files? Some. We missed something? Oh. Talk to flight. I don't want to do that file cabinet. Let's see if they got a file on a crane. Whoa! Let's look at them all. Whoa. Beauty's in debt to the crooked man? Shit. Brannigan. Give us that file. Detective Brannigan. Keep an, Keep eye, an on eye on her. her. Keep an eye on her. Don't mind if I do. Cinderella. Ella. Ella. Eh. 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 Where's Cindy Bean? Vacation, apparently. Christian says somewhere in Europe. Who's donkey skin? What? Crane hired them to look for a photo? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. Huh. Alright. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just, just trying to make an honest living. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. No. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Yeah, flycatcher. Gosh. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. <laughs> Why did he want it back so badly? Find anything? Not what I need. Wh what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but... I just wanted to say, you know, give him a chance. Is that what you think? Sarcasm. Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything because to... Because they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. <laughs> they're hired guns. Hitmen. Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. Jeez, revealing everything I'm, to I'm this sorry, kid. I'm sorry, I'm I, sorry. I, I didn't know. Look, Flycatcher, kind of I, I know you nice like them, but guy. they're a part of whatever is happening here. They're bad guys. I 
Help us. I, I, I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file. Yes. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, give us the secrets. I see it. Yes, yes, what is down there? What could it be? Examine your package. Hold for BCW. Hmm. I'm not sure. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane or the witch he was using. Something. Something in the way she moves. Ooh, examine that package. JD. Are we gonna find something shocking? A book. A book. This doesn't really tell us much. Nope. Examine the package. Sure. Oh. What is this stuff? It's ASAP. Crooked man. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Who the Terrible heck's the crooked man? Con. You know what that is? I keep mentioning the crooked man. Ah, oh, I'm not a horrible person. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... Thank you. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glass. Yeah, we did. Anti-Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. Yes. Information. I guess and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. Yeah. Anti Greenleaf. A G. This is it. Do you have a phone? Is there a phone around here? I need to call Snow. Right over there. Excellent. A new book of Thanks, fables Brian. unlocked. Business office? I know who she is. Dun dun dun! Alrighty, this is obviously a perfect time to end this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Things are getting crazy. We finally figured out where this witch is, and we are going to investigate. So much harder. I'm really like I really have no idea who this crooked man is. So I'm probably gonna look that up because I might have missed something while I was playing, unfortunately, because I talk and ramble all the time. So I don't know who the Crooked Man is. Apparently everyone owes him money. So whoever the Crooked Man is, is like, I don't know, maybe he supplies money. Is he the people, like, I, I have no idea. No idea who the Crooked Man is. So we're gonna look that up and tell you in the next episode. So if you like this episode, scroll on down to like that like button, make it turn blue or whatever it does. And uh, yeah, tune in for the next one. And oh, I'll see you, I'll see you there. Bye guys.